All I can say is Mr. Cohen's got a story to tell. He was a leaky ship to begin with. He couldn't take on much water. And if he did try to get a job, and he denied trying to get a job, if there was discussions about a pardon and he denied it, that just furthers the narrative that maybe he's not the best conveyor of the truth. So Lindsey Graham calling in a question yet again, Michael Cohen's credibility after his lawyer, Lanny Davis, said that Cohen was open to considering a pardon at one point, which appeared to be a contradiction for what he told Congress last week in sworn testimony. Brad Wenstrup, member of both the uh, House Intelligence Ways and Means Committee. How you doing, sir? And good morning to you. Thanks, Bill. Happy uh, Friday. I'm doing okay. We're getting reporting here that Cohen met four times with Adam Schiff for a total of about 10 hours prior to that hearing. What do you know about this? Well, yeah, that certainly is what he said in the oversight hearing. I believe those were his words that they met. I can tell you that an intelligence committee under Devin Nunes, actually Mike Conaway leading the Russia investigation, that never happened. There were times when lawyers met from both sides of the aisle with the witness, and that was it. So this is unprecedented. Uh, the new chairman Schiff likes to say, oh, it's, it's common for that to happen. I don't believe that to be true. And, and it certainly doesn't appear to be transparent. And as I think you brought up, is this an orchestrated hearing or is this an actual hearing? Yeah, Mike Turner, a colleague of yours from Ohio, essentially said that. He wondered whether or not it was genuine or whether it was rehearsed theater. What's your take on that? Well, I think that uh, as, t as we go by, we may be able to show uh, how some things might have been prompted. We'll, we'll see. Uh, but I do think that there's a great concern. And, you know, this is an unreliable witness to begin with. This whole thing, I don't even know it's, if it's within the jurisdiction of the Intelligence Committee that we should be doing this at this point. And you know what's not lost on me, Bill, is the whole reason Mr. Cohen is even around and in trouble is because of a dossier that the Democrats paid for. And this led to the entire investigation fraudulently in my opinion, and, and now we have the situation where he lied under oath, which he's responsible for, and now he seems to be best friends you, you believe, with those that set him yeah. up. You, you believe yeah. he lied under oath? On what? Well, that's what, that's what, he's, going to, that's what he's going to jail for, is lying to Congress. Okay. But, but yeah. do, you, do you have evidence? I'll take you back to the 27th of February. This got a lot of attention yesterday. I'll roll mm -hmm. it and get your reaction. The pain that I have caused my family and my friends Nothing can do that. And I have never asked for, nor would I accept, a pardon from President Trump. There's some question about that. What's your question? Do you believe he's telling the truth there or not? Well, let me, let me put it this way. I hope that in due time that the entire interview that we had on the Intelligence Committee is open and available to the American people and to you, Bill. I think that would answer a lot of questions as to uh, that particular comment and whether uh, that is true or not. On that point, how much can you share with us now? Uh, I'm going to be cautious on that because ours was a closed interview and I, and I don't want to go in that direction. But, you know, there are reports that he said one thing at one time and another thing at another time. Well, here is some of the reaction now about the first topic here about the Adam Schiff meeting. Uh, Patrick Boland for the Democrats, despite this professed outrage by Republicans, he writes, it's completely appropriate to conduct proffer sessions and allow witnesses to review their prior testimony before the committee interviews them. Such sessions are a routine part of every serious investigation around the country, including congressional investigations. I guess on the face, he's probably right about that. That could be, but as I said, to be very transparent and fair. Before we had interviews with witnesses, when we were in charge, it was lawyers from both sides of the aisle that sat with them, and it wasn't a, a team of staffers from the Republican side only sitting down with the witness. All right, Brad, one strip to be yeah. continued. Nice to see you, the Republican from Ohio. Thanks for coming back. Thank you.